one of these days these roots are gonna walk all over you. L'Oreal 8.5A Champagne Blonde. I'm going to be just using this at the roots. Um, and it's probably not going to have like, you know, the same blonding effect all over, but that's okay. After I mix the hair dye in the bottle, I add one of these Ardell Red Gold Color Corrector Plus packets. So the dyeing solution usually looks a pink to purple color after I put that um, color corrector in it. So I just do the root area first, probably about you know, the first 20 minutes and then the second 20 minutes I'll be going down the length of the hair. I'm also going to be putting this on my eyebrows. Now, I don't recommend you do this, guys, but I used to use my finger for, for dyeing my eyebrows, you know, with the hair dye, but that gets a little too drippy, so I found that the Q-tip works a little better and actually the most effective way I found is with an old toothbrush because it really gets in between those brows but this is what I've got for now and I've got about half hour left to wait so let's hope I have good results with the whole thing this time the dye box was about nine dollars that's a pretty good deal compared to a salon visit even though you know it's it's not any kind of professional job it did what i wanted it to do okay let's see what this looks like when it is dry We go. My hair is dry now. Yes, I know I look like a lion right now, but um, that's how my hair uh, dries. Okay, so as you can see here, the roots have all been blended in and they actually look like the same color as the rest of my hair, like right here. At least it looks like that to me. The the whites are covered up that I had. I had like white here, white here. It always seems to grow in that area first. And I have the white, you know, throughout, peppered throughout my hair too, but it, it looks like it took care of that as well. See, I might straighten this now or just, uh, just soften the curl a little bit, a little bit of creamy moisture in there or something, we'll see. So you can see with using this L'Oreal 8.5A Champagne Blonde, it took care of brown roots as well as the white and I used that red gold color corrector so that helped keep the tone, um, that helped keep the tone from being too red as well with the original growth right here. So I do recommend this. Now the only way really you're going to get the color this light is if you're kind of starting with I think with like somewhat light hair but uh, I'm happy with the color I have here. As my hair grows out I'm going to try to get it more and more even and you know for uh, doing a home job I think I think this is good. I'm happy. Let's do something with this mop. <laughs> Okay guys, I've decided I am going to stick with curly hair for my style. So what I do is I take some uh, like really like a heavy type conditioner, like the type that comes in hair dye boxes that I use, and I'm going to wet my hair just a little bit and uh, sort of like finger this conditioner in and then it's going to just kind of dry on its own a little bit and it just the curls are just going to be 
a little bit uh, less frayed looking and maybe a little more shiny. Get the hair wet little by little with cold water from the palms of my hands. I don't want to like saturate my hair fully because then it'll just be you know all wet but this way it'll help carry that conditioner in and it's not a leave-in conditioner but for me sometimes it's a leave-in conditioner let's do this side now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna wet my hands again and then put a little bit of conditioner uh, in my palms rub it in put maybe like like a quarter's worth, you can see that right there, and rub it in my palms, and start at the bottom a little bit. So if I want my hair like really shiny looking. I have to do this when it's uh, more wet, like from the naturally wet stage after getting out of the shower. And uh, sometimes the, the curls look a little too tight when I do that. So if you can see here, some of it is starting to look a little more like, like more tame curls. Okay. I think this is going to be a good style right here for me for curly right now. So I'm going to stick with this. What do you think?